Okay guys, 10 gauge, 16 pellet quadruple watt buck load. It is a monster. Let me show you what you need. This one's pretty simple. Remington Premier 10 gauge hull, one of the best 10 gauge hulls ever made. Of course, resized, deprimed. Winchester 209 primer, or any standard primer you want. Magnum is uh, better than this loader, but I don't have any Magnum primers right now. We'll soon. 45 grains of little gunpowder. Um, need the X10X gas seal, half inch fiber cushion wood. Number four, or no, uh, quadruple watt buckshot. I need to mold up some more, running kind of low. And uh, your buffer of choice, using BPI mix number 47. If you ask me what my two favorite buckshot sizes are, it's 31 caliber single lot and the 38 caliber or 375 caliber quadruple watt buck. Those big pellets, they uh, flat tear stuff up. They carry a lot of energy. They're bigger around in diameter than a nine millimeter. Uh, they're 38 caliber or 375. And they're moving um, in a lot of cases faster. You can push these up to uh, like 1300 FPS and they still pattern pretty good. So. They've got a lot of carrying carrying energy. They go pretty far. The only downside is um, the only real wad you can stack them in is the Remington SP10 wad or maybe the Ballistic Products uh, PT1044. I don't have any of those, so I can't confirm. You can stack those by two in that wad, but you can in the SP10. Uh, 31 caliber single lot. You can get more than you can uh, in a wad with uh, double lot. They carry just about the same amount of energy. There's really not much of a difference. They stack better in the wads, and uh, in the 31 cal, it can be used in uh, all the way down to 20 gauge. Conventionally loaded in a 20 gauge, they stack by twos. Uh, 16 gauge, they fit great in it. Uh, I think you can stack them by three in a 16 gauge, conventionally loaded. Um, stack by twos in the CSD 16 wad, you can get an ounce and a quarter of a uh, single lot, no problem in the uh, CSD 16 wood. Uh, it's a good extended range 16 gauge load. Of course, they're great in 12, they're great in 10. We'll say one other downside to the uh, quad buck is the smallest shell you can really get them in is 12 gauge and even some shells like the Winchester double A's or the STS's, the gun clubs, they don't really like to stack by two so well in those hulls, but you can get them to work. Um, I, I've had almost no success in the double A's though. They, uh, plastic on those is pretty thick. So, and this is another downside to those. They're, they can be tr tricky to load in 12 gauge, uh, but in 10, they work great. Alright, like I said, this one's pretty simple. Deprimed, resized hull, Remington Premier. Going with a Winchester 209. Um, you probably want to use a Magnum primer in this load. Very slow burning powder. Little gun. Speaking of which, we'll need 45 grains. A little gun powder. This is a 1200 FPS load, by the way, and it's three ounces. A little bit more. It's 43. All right. X10X gas seal. These can be kind of hard to get in once fired holes, but I got it. You want to seat that down firmly with the press. This one's really going to be hard to get in there. Half inch fiber cushion wood. Okay guys, um, small correction. Since I'm fold crimping this, not roll crimping it, you want the quarter um, inch fiber cushion wood. Uh, the half inch is if you want to roll crimp it, but I'm full crimping this. So anyway, 
16 pellets, 38 caliber quad pellet. Don't you run away on me. Three seventy five cal works too. One more pellet, where'd you go? I think I got all sixteen of them in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's fifteen, I must have dropped one somewhere. Oh well. All right, now this is a conventionally loaded shell, so we're adding buffer to it. You don't have to add buffer, but where this is conventionally loaded, you wanna help out the uh, pattern as much as you can. So we're adding some mix number 47 buffer. After I get this crimped, I'll show you guys on the scale what this uh, payload actually weighs. Total payload. Payload. Just a little bit more. Right to the crimp line. There's the pre crimp. That's a pretty good one. Now, uh, learned a little trick here. I just pushed that in against the flat surface real quick. I have this press set up for 12 gauge right now, but I've learned this little, learned this little trick. You might have seen it in a previous video the 10 gauge curl load. Take the uh, roll crimp tool. Set it in the final crimp station of the press on top of the shell and send it home. I might need, I need to seal it or I could put a bingo chip or paper towel, um, Tyvek overshot cards, anything right underneath that, seal it right up. I'm actually going to, uh, I'll do it for you guys right here, actually. What I use to reopen these crimps is just a screwdriver. Doesn't matter what it is, flathead, Phillips, it don't matter. But uh, we're going to add just a little bit of paper towel. A friend of mine was here today. We uh, loaded over 100 number four buck shells, some uh, 690 round balls. Some turkey loads and we had a bunch of tieback overshot cards and i thought i had a few laying here but i guess i don't oh well paper towel works all the same he's just getting into loading himself he's gonna be loading uh, 10 12 and 20 mostly Also, really good looking pre crimp. These Remington Premier Halls are awesome. Not sure if they make these anymore. They probably don't. Again, I'm just pushing that against the flat surface. Hope I put enough paper towel in it. I did. Check that out. Trying to block out some of that lot. But, uh, that's a monster. <laughs> the 10 gauge load. That's a monster any load for any gauge. 16 pellets, quad buck. It's, uh, real dang close to 3 ounces. In the 2.9 area. I think it's 2.95 actually. But, uh, we've shot a few of these. I'm going to pattern this load for you guys. Um, it may be in a federal hall. I have a bunch of these loaded. Um, 
got another Remington hole on my scale and it's zeroed out. 16 pellets of the uh, 38 cal quad buck. See how much that weighs. And that would be 2.85 total lead payload weight. That is uh, two hundredths of an ounce off from being um, uh, two and seven eighth ounces. Now with the buffer, that's going to weigh, I think it was 2.95. It was 2.98. That's real close to three ounces. You can see the buffer is just barely covered in those pellets in there. Camera ain't going to focus, but it is. Total payload weight is 2.98 ounces. Well, guys, I appreciate you riding along with me on this one. Uh, got some more videos planned. Um, we're doing, uh, someone asked me if I could do a video showing how I, um, you can take loaded factory bird shot loads that he wanted 16 gauge and dump the shot out and recast it into a uh, buckshot. I can totally do that. I actually have done that before. I've done it quite often, actually. Um, may also do a video showing how I load the brass 32 gauge shells with the uh, 50 caliber bullet from my rifle 32 gauge, um, the H and R. That should be a cool one. It, there, it's black powder, but you can load it with smokeless too. Um, the gun is a modern gun. It's not. I'm sure you guys have seen it. it. It's not an old school black powder thing. It's a modern 32 gauge shotgun. It was made in 1974. Uh, as most of you know, I do have a smoothbore 32 gauge Stevens too. You know, I got. 24 gauge. I have every gauge, uh, even the obscure ones. Still working on getting that 8 gauge though. <sighs> Saw one about a month ago. Went for, I think it was $2,400. It was an old, old single shot. Uh, Damascus barrel and all. Uh, I, I want a modern 8 gauge. Smokeless. Three ounce loads. No problem. 10 gauge can do it too, but I want a gun that can do it at 1400 fps <laughs> with ease that's what i want but uh anyway thanks for watching guys you got any questions just let me know in the comments i'll get to them all i see all the comments got any suggestions for future videos also let me know i'll be glad to do them see you in the next one